Multiple view windows allow you to view, navigate, and manipulate the model from multiple perspectives during the design process. In the previous session, you used the isometric view to place the points and create the conceptual blocking model of the station building. You may have noted that view 2, top, shows the top view, and view 3, front, shows the front view of the model. In this session, you will set up a new view group, a new view window, and adjust various settings for the view. On the lower right of the interface are the Manage View Group tools. You currently are using a view group, building model, that has three views open, set to a front isometric view, a top view, and a front view. We will now create a second view group that has a back isometric view, a top view, and a side view. Open Manage View Groups. Note that there are several view groups already created for the drawing and sheet models that I mentioned earlier. We'll get to those soon, but let's stay focused on the 3D design model for now. Select Create View Group. Name the view Building Model Back with a description Back, ISO, and Side. Select OK, Apply, and then close the Manage View Groups dialog. Toggle off View 1, and then toggle on View 4. Resize View 4 by dragging the sides and placing it roughly where View 1 was. On the View tab on the ribbon, Select the Arrange option from the Windows group. This arranges the three views. From the View Groups pull-down, you can now switch between the Building Model View Group and the Building Model Back View Group. It is currently set to the Building Model Back View Group. Now we will cover view rotation in the next video, but let's use a quick shortcut to rotate View 4 to the back isometric view and View 3 to a side rotation. Left click on the header of View 4 to make sure it is the active view. Then hold the Shift and Control key on the keyboard and right click in the view. This will display a screen menu with various view rotations displayed. Select the back left isometric, then select the Fit View icon on the header of View 4. Now, left click on the header of View 3 to make sure it is the active view. Then again, hold the Shift and Control key on the keyboard and right click in the view. This will again display the screen menu with various view rotations displayed. Select the left view and then fit the view. Note that View 3 will be rotated left in this view group but will remain a front rotation in the other view group. Now that we have set the views that we want in this particular view group, let's take a look at how we control what we actually see in the view. View display and navigation tools are located at the top of each view. The first pull-down is View Attributes. Open View Attributes from View 4. View attributes allow you to control the view window to display needed information. You can set the display style, global brightness, toggle on and off view attributes, such as the design grid that we used to easily place the form of the block model. Change the display style to project modeling. Now display styles are predefined collections of render overrides and some other optional settings that can be applied to views. They can range from a simple wireframe view of the model to an illustration view that shows materials and real-world lighting. The display style chosen here is one that was created for the project and stored in a Workset DGN library. Try other display styles, 
There are a number of display styles available, both for working on and presenting the model. Now let's look at some of the actual view attributes. Toggle the grid on. When working in Open Buildings Designer, you have the option of turning on the grid in any view. So the grid consists of evenly spaced points on the design plane. It is a visual measurement and alignment aid. The units, spacing, and orientation can be set in the design file settings. When used in conjunction with grid lock, the grid can assist in accurate by eye placement of elements, as you did when placing the freeform lock model. Toggle the ACS triad off and back on again. The ACS triad is a three arrow representation that indicates the X, Y, and Z axis and origin. The ACS triad will be displayed at the zero, zero origin of the model, showing the X and Y axis. This is the base coordinate system and would be used to align models that are referenced together coincidentally. The zero, zero origin of the model is also the center of the solids working area, or the SWA. The SWA is a defined volume or cube related to solids accuracy, which is determined for both the resolution settings and the solid setting in the advanced unit settings dialog. It is important that building models are modeled within the solids working area. So it is good practice to locate the building geometry near this ACS triad. This is why we started the block model at the ACS triad. Toggle default lighting off. When default lighting is toggled on, lights that are built into the model are used. This lighting includes an over-the-shoulder camera light, flash, and ambient light. Otherwise, solar settings and user-defined lights are used. You can also adjust the global brightness slider to adjust the overall brightness of the view. Note that the display style, lighting, and global brightness can also be controlled independently from the next two pull-downs on the view window. Before closing the View Attributes dialog, note that these settings can be applied to the current view, View 4, or to all open views. Let's apply these settings to all the open views. You can now set up various views and view groups for working on your model and adjust the display style of each view. In the next video, you will learn how to navigate the view. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.